All right, so now we're going to paint the uh, let them go as planned. So today's goal is to paint the door panel on the A model. Just the one that I took off. I'll paint the other one later. So if you guessed white, that's exactly the color I'm going to paint it. So the truck is white. I'm going to do semi-gloss white, and I'm going to do black on this part. So this is where your hands are going to be grabbing a lot. So this is going to be black, and everything else is going to be white. And yeah, I know it's going to show dirt, but it's, uh, it's my work truck. So um, I can always touch up the paint really easy if I get something on it. So this part's going to be black, and that part's going to be white. And um, somebody, uh, KCA TV left a comment. That's my dad. He said, paint it the same color that it is. Well, that's no color. That's the color of the plastic. And it was kind of a reddish color. I uh, don't know if we can see the back. Reddish tan color. It's so faded now. But it was kind of just a, an ugly drab color. So I'm going to change the whole interior of the truck. Because this is just the ickiest color that you can think of. So the truck's gonna be black and white. So the dash is probably gonna be white or black. Probably gonna end up going with black because, I don't know, I'll have to uh, experiment with that. But white would really look cool, so I'm probably thinking about doing white. It's gonna be bright, but um, that'll definitely change the whole look inside the truck because right now, just everything is just this drab and look at the seat belts, the seat. I got to do something about the seat. The, the cushions collapsed. So I got to figure out what to do there. So I have a board here. And I'm sitting on this little chair thing to even sit up halfway decent. So the dash is coming out. It's going to be painted. It's cracked really bad. So it's not going to hurt anything. Um, and we're going to change the interior. I might even paint the uh, sun visors up there too. Yeah, this was always just a bad color combination as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> Black and white's better than uh, white and whatever you want to call that puke color. So it's white is the door panel. It's exactly the color we're going to paint it. So I'm going to scrub on it some more. Try to get some of that older plastic off. And I got to take this little chrome thing out. That's easy to do. And then we're going to set up a little paint booth and we're going to get this done. break out the uh, big guns here so the scrubbing wasn't doing the trick but the pressure washer did so it got off most of all the uh, that surface plastic that was really loose and I'm gonna give it a scrub the sand scrub again and hit it with the pressure washer and I'll show you the difference between this panel and the one that's on the other side on the passenger side so I pressure washed, I re-sanded again, and there's still these spots where some of that rust, that's not rust, plastic. So I'm going to get it all down to where it's got that first layer of plastic off. And I've already worked on this. I'm going to work inside here. I need to get a better wire brush. This is my old plumbing brush. But I need to get something a little bit bigger, but my old one is rusted up, so... I'm going to keep working at this, then I'm going to pressure wash it one more time. I might sand it and then pressure wash it again. Get this plastic really raw. 
because I don't want the different textures to show up because that, that first layer of plastic's a lot higher than that lower layer. So I want to get that first layer off. That way we won't have the uh, paint flaking so much. All right, so that's about all I'm going to do. And I did a lot. Probably about an hour later or so, I uh, wire brushed it, sanded it, uh, pressure washed it, and did that a couple of times. Let's compare the original, the before and the after. So that's before. That's what it looked like before. Look at that color. That's nasty. And this is after. This is the original color of the truck. So I guess he did order the quarter panels or the door panels that matched the, this ugly color. So I'm going to end up taking these off, painting them white. Uh, everything, every trim piece, I'm going to do the same thing to the dash. So everything's going to pop in here and it's going to have black accent. So it's going to be black and white. But yeah, I know how to do this one now because look at the difference. And it's going to be white by the end of the day. That's for sure. I was going to go black with it, but um, eh, I'm going to make it pop. It's going to go white. This whole truck's going to have white. I'm going to do the grill white and everything I can do. Like I'm going to redo the mirrors white, the bumper, that kind of stuff. So we're going to let it dry and we're going to hit it with some paint here in a little bit. All right, we're going to hit it with some semi-gloss white this 2x rust-oleum i'm really liking the this 2x paint i don't know if it's any difference but it seems like it does coat better so this has been sunbathing it's been clean it's warm so maybe it'll stick good so we're going to just give her a good first coat got my little painting booth set up here i need a bigger fan i'm going to give it one good coat and then we're going to come back and see what we got. Well, that's the first coat. And I can see right here where that first layer of plastic, I kind of missed a little spot here. And there's some in here too. I need a better wire brush. I'm going to get a better wire brush when I do the passenger door. But you'll never notice it if you're not looking for it. But I can see it because I know it's there. So um, I might, uh, if I had some sandpaper, I'd sand this down a little bit more right here but I don't mind the texture look. Once I get a second and third coat on it, it's gonna not look so rough. But yeah, this is just the first coat. It's gonna pop a lot better, but yeah. What a difference between that other nonsense. When you open the door, it's gonna be a bright color instead of this greasy drab color. So that's a full can of the white, the double coat white. It's semi-gloss white. Turned out pretty good. So it's gonna look a lot better when it's in the truck and all the other fixtures are on there and then the handle is going to be black so i'm going to paint the handle now let this dry and maybe get this back on the truck today all right so now we're going to paint the door handle with semi-gloss black and anytime you're painting something small like this you got a block of wood like this something that's heavier that way you don't have to touch the the wet object when you're doing your coats that's uh definitely recommended so I'm going to do a, a couple of light coats here, uh, lighter than normal, and then we'll see what we end up with. Alright, we'll let that dry. Doing lighter coats than I would normally do because this is stuff that moves around a little bit. So that's what we ended up with right there looks good All right, while the panels and stuff are drying I'm gonna do my best to get that sound out of the window so I don't have any lithium grease but I got this grease here so I'm just gonna use regular grease and work these tracks and all the gears and see if I can find where that popping sound is coming from. And hopefully we'll get that uh, isolated. I made a discovery when I was greasing the, the window. Um, 
the track bolts have vibrated loose out of here. So there's two bolts here that holds the front track on. So I'm gonna, I took one out of the back track. So I know that that's gonna be the same. And I'm gonna see if I can match it up with something I got here. So what, what you do is you put a nut on there when the nut threads on good, then you look for a bolt that threads onto that nut. That's the trick for that. So let's see what we can come up with. And that'll definitely fix some issues. That's probably the reason, one of the reasons, well, one of the main reasons why the window jumped out of the track was the, uh, the felt lining inside there. But look at this. I mean, that's not helping at all. And that makes sense why this whole window mechanism was moving. And I just didn't even see it earlier when I was working on everything. So it's always something, but we're going to get her fixed. That's what I found. So I found one of these, which would have been perfect, but I need two because it even has a little bit of taper on the threads. So I ended up with these two. They're a little bit too long. Uh, they're a little bit different, but it'll work. So let's run with this. And we'll get that window track bolted back on like it's supposed to be. It's nice that I had something in stock. So I'm pulling it towards me. That way the track is a little bit closer to the window. There we go. Looks a bit perfect. And... I'm still looking for where that noise is coming from. Of course, the uh, window went out of the track when I was messing with that, so I'm going to have to take these both loose and fix that. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this track towards me a little bit. And that way it'll give it a little bit more tension to keep it in track. So I'm just going to bend that a little bit right there. I felt it move pretty good that time. You don't want too much tension on it. There we go. I know it sounds bad, but that's something in this mechanism. I'm still isolating it, and I don't want to take this whole thing out, but if I wanted to spend more time in this, I'd take this whole assembly out and see where that noise is coming from, but it's not that big of a deal. Here's another thing that I'm going to fix now. So we got both of those bolts back on. The, the track is nice and tight, but the pullback spring on this has been broke for a long time, and it's really just like a, it was a um metal deal right here that rusted and it broke and i'm gonna rig up something here so i'm gonna mount something here and then i'm gonna put a spring on that and then i'm gonna put the other side of the spring here so it pulls back so i'm gonna mount it right here because that's the furthest i can go on that before it hits a piece of metal so i'll mount it right there put me a pullback spring here depending on how long my spring is is where i'm gonna mount the little mechanism and that way we can get this handle to pull back because it just sticks out like that all the time. And I'm just, uh, can't live like that. So I found this in my stash. So here's a spring that's about the right amount of spring there. And then these are the uh, things for like guy wires that holds them. So I'm going to take these off and we'll put that on that rod if it's big enough diameter. If not, I'll find a bigger one. All right, so I got this adjusted. So this little hook here. I put on here I put this little hook right there on the outside so now we can slide it in this hole like that and it should pop right on the outside of the hole like that then we're gonna spin it around and then we're going to put the little deal right there and it's gonna work so I'm gonna put this on here like that and then we're going to put this on here like this. I guess I'll go ahead and do it. And we'll make sure we're grabbing the spring part. And I'm going to spin it around to the other side. I don't know if this is going to interfere with the back of the panel. It shouldn't. Shouldn't hit anything. So we're going to find out real quick here. So I'm going to adjust it as tight as possible. It's not going to hit anything there. Right there, it's still not touching. That's a good tension. And we're going to tighten that up right here. Right there. We're just going to do a quick test. Look at that. So that works good. And it's not hitting there either. It's close. 
but it's not hitting. So there we go. It pulls back now. I'd like for it to have a little more tension, but that's good. I might adjust this forward a little bit more. So here's what it ended up being. I got it adjusted perfectly. It's got good tension on it. And it's not going to interfere with the panel I already looked. And this is not hitting anywhere. So yeah, I've been staring at this spring for years. I'm like, I'm going to use that for something. And um, I did. So there we go. And yeah, it adds a little bit of noise when you open and shut the door. I could isolate that. I'll probably uh, put some kind of rubber right there so the spring doesn't hit. I'll do that later. I want to get this door panel on. So that noise is inside this little spinning mechanism. There's probably a compression spring on the gear to, to keep the gear pushed one direction. And I've oiled it and oiled it and WD-40'd it and greased it. I can't get to that spring that's causing that issue. So we're just gonna have to deal with that noise when we're rolling the window up and down. I'm gonna wash all the grease that could be on my hand off. So when I'm handling the door panel, we're not getting any grease on that white paint. And yeah, I know, that's the downside of having it white, but it is my work truck now and uh, I'll keep it clean on the inside. All right, so I greased up these little spots where the clamps go in there. The reason why it was so hard to get off in the beginning is because the window was jammed stuck up and I couldn't get in there and, and pull these tabs up. So I had to use that board. So we got a spring, we got all the rails uh, lubricated with grease and that's a good addition. Um, I'm not concerned about that metallic sound. It only happened when I shut the door, not a big deal. And we're gonna put the door panel on. The next time you see this, the panel's gonna be on and I'll also have the black one, on, the handle on too. So I went ahead and stopped that little uh, spring sound there. So now we don't sound like uh, metal on metal. I used, uh, I cut a little vacuum line short, cut a slit in it, put, it against, put that against the door. And then I have this Velcro here uh, on the spring to isolate it as well. And it holds the vacuum line against the door. So next time we'll see the panel on the door. So the way I do this is I, I grab the handle in there like that. And I pull the handle through without scratching anything. And then the door lock thing, you want to have all the way down like that. And then you put this in the top track like this. Actually, pull the door lock up. Sorry. And then that goes down in the track. And then you pop that down in the track like that. And then you want to make sure... This hits the hole. I'm going to use a paper towel right now because the paint's a little tacky still. Right there, that popped in. And then there's another one over here. I want to make sure it gets in the right hole. Right there, that one's popped in. So now she's on. And let's just see what it's going to look like. That's that. And this is still a little tacky, so it's going to be a while before I'm able to put this on officially. But we'll just uh, give her a quick look here. That's what it's going to look like. There's our finished product. I think that's a definite upgrade compared to, let's compare it to the other side. Compared to that, I would definitely say that's an upgrade. So I'll do this one sometime, maybe next week. It is a pretty big job. Because what I'm doing is I'm scraping this whole first layer of plastic off. So there's a whole layer of plastic that I'm scraping off down to the other layer. So it takes a while. So yeah, it's definitely an upgrade. Now we're almost done. Don't forget to put your little foam insulation piece behind here. I guess that's just to keep the uh, wind action and noise. So I still need to find that keeper there. But there we go. Look at that. Rolls up and down. Yeah, it still makes that noise, but everything else looks good. I think that's definitely an upgrade compared to that over there. Next, you know, when I want to start really tinkering with the truck as far as aesthetics, I'm going to take this off and hit that with white. Maybe that piece. These kick panels. The dash. The visors. 
And the only thing that'll be ugly is the seat and I'm gonna put a seat cover on it. So then everything's gonna match. I gotta fix the seat first because the springs are collapsed. So I gotta pull the seat out and rebuild the, the uh, springs assemblies on the seat. And then the interior will be done once I fix the horn. I gotta fix this horn assembly too. That's gonna be fun. But I think that's a pretty cool upgrade. Of course, when I shut the door, the um, window thing's gonna fall off because the little keeper ring, but it should shut more. Yeah, except for the window thing that fell off. But yeah, it sounds way better now when the door shuts than that uh, obnoxiousness before. I think that was a good upgrade. Just when I thought my day was done fixing things, I noticed that the uh, goldfish pond here was um, run. Uh, the water was low this morning, so there's two holes. Here, I'll give you a close up. There's two pretty good sized holes in here. I don't know if you can see that, but water's just coming on out. So I don't know if that's gonna. I got these little rubber things that I found. I'm going to try to put them in there and see if I don't make the hole bigger, but we might have a bigger issue here. Well, it looked like it was holes, but it's um, it's actually a crack. So I don't have anything really to fix that. Now would be a good commercial for Flex Seal. So what I have is this um, industrial electrical tape. It's really thick stuff. And it's going to probably be too wet to stick, but we'll see what happens. Just gonna try to push it in that crack and slow it down a little bit. Yeah, it's a pretty bad crack. It's slowing it down. I'll work it in there, but it'll keep the water. It'll slow it down. We'll see how I it works. Fixed it, and it's still leaking a little bit. I should have cut a little bit longer strip, but I'm gonna have to do it when it's dry. But it did slow down the water a lot. This is what I used. This uh, electrical tape, this is some industrial stuff, and it's really heavy duty stuff. It's really thick, and it'll stick to anything. Look how thick this stuff is, and it, sti it sticks on both sides. So I use this for a lot of different things, uh, special applications, especially uh, if you need some good insulation So for electrical stuff. So it's working for now. I'm sure that crack developed when uh, Snowmageddon, when we got down to four degrees or something. But yeah, that's crazy how that thing cracked down there. Big shout out to everybody that commented on Rust is the Word of the Day video. So let's see, the last comment was Sun Honey Studios. It says chassis water leaks is like chassis electrical shorts. Or ch ch yeah. See, this is why I don't read the comments. P-A-R-T-E-I-B-O-N-Z-A. -E um, as for the door panels, what about what kind of uh, olive green or maybe a camo pattern? <laughs> well, you saw what I did with them on the video. They're, they're white with the black handle, so. I want it to be, you know, I'm using white paint on a lot of stuff, so I want to keep it simple. So the truck, pretty much everything in the interior is going to be white now, as you can see in the video. MM says, glad to see the trucks being uh, rescued. Yep. Uh, for the 65 bed, I'm guessing you'll add solar panel uh, that lifts access to the fuel tank. If I added another solar panel, it would have to lift, so yeah. That, that's not what I'm doing, but yeah, that's that's you're exactly right. And then Har, Har Tozia, I can't pronounce his name again. He said tilt bed. Nope, no tilt bed. Um, water and cab is from the heater core, says gas pump repair service. No, it's actually coming in through the um, windshield wiper mechanisms. All that stuff where the, the dirt and the leaves collect over the years, that whole firewall area is rusted in all right so katie says aluminum foil and coat can remove rust yep it works good for surface rust but i need to kill the rust so if you know the best stuff to kill the rust let me know katie 
Uh, Wild Red says, trigger word, 60 PSI. Yep, that's an inside joke for sure. Uh, cool window fix tricks. Uh, door panels, white. So Ra Loud Red says white. So you were right. I painted them white, Loud Red. So, And you didn't know beforehand, so you weren't cheating on this one. Jared Allen says, in the bed of the truck, idea, hmm. Uh, say maybe lights. I'm definitely putting LEDs in there. So you got, that's that's correct. That That's not that's not the exciting part. That's not the, the fun part. But yes, the LEDs are going to be there. But that's not, that's not what I'm... Uh, that's not the fun thing. Jared Allen, absolutely love the 65 Chevy. Yep, that's one of my, that's my favorite truck too, Jared. And Jared Allen made another comment. Awesome video again, sir. Like the bucket magnet trick. Uh, 80 Chevy's looking great. Don't overdo yourself. Too late on that there, Jared Allen. Uh, thank you, big hugs, read more. Let's see, hugs, love, family, and from from me and Bree. Give Bree a big hug for me there, Jared Allen. And KCA TV says, wow, I'm glad you uh, chose to save the license plates. I think it would be good to paint the panels the same color as it is now. Well, I painted them white and um, yeah, they were just looking bad. So I'm changing the whole interior of the truck to black and white. So, yeah. All right, so uh, Raven King says, so glad your uh, mower started. Yeah, me too. That thing was kicking my butt. Um, I'm going to guess that you're going to put some, uh, let's see. I don't know what that means in the back of the truck. You're motivating me to tackle some of my uh, clutter. Yeah, I got lots of clutter, and at least my hoard is paying off. <laughs> and uh, I'm able to not have to go to the hardware store to fix um, a lot of the stuff so far as you can see today I fixed the, the spring on the door painted the door I fixed the track I found two miss two more missing bolts on the front side track and um, yeah so I got everything working with what I had around the house so my channel is still obviously losing subscribers every day and I understand why because it's typecast to the convoy but eventually one of these days I'll be gaining subs again so if you're not subscribed already, please do and spread the word. Share your, if you can, share this video on social media, you know, your, your face pages and your, your TikToks or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I just told somebody I'm editing a video and they keep texting me. Haha. -ha. You know who you are, son, honey. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so if you can help me grow the channel, I'm doing dailies now. Love you all. And we'll do this again tomorrow.